Hey everybody, it's James from the Permakid Podcast. I just got done watching the Fallout 4 announcement trailer like a thousand times. And uh, I'm not a really smart dude. I'm not really like analytical like a lot of people on the internet who can really pick apart a trailer. But I want to give my just kind of honest opinion about what I've been seeing. Let's watch it. Peggy 18. Familiar is going to be the word of the day with this. Familiar, please stand by Slate for the TV. The song almost sounds like it's going to be I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire, but it's not. You can see that there's a little bit more vegetation than in Fallout 3. Um, all the vegetation looks dead, but at least it's there. So maybe it grew and then died, which kind of tells me that even though there's a lot of flashbacks to Before the Bomb, this game takes place after Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So it's not going to be a prequel game. It's not going to be, you know, any of that stuff. The German Shepherd dog meat, or might not be dog meat, but the German Shepherd's there. That's like the only dog that they ever put in these games. A couple of my friends online said that the graphics looked terrible and that they weren't going to play it or they'd rather play the Mad Max game that was coming out. And that's understandable because Mad Max game has vehicles. It looks like it's got a lot of customization. Having said that, um, being a huge fan of the Fallout series, I'm more inclined to want to play this game. This is the announcement trailer. And as they said, most announcement trailers actually look better. And then when the game is released, the graphics look crappy. Hopefully Bethesda is willing to reverse that, which is what should be the case with all games. If you think about Fallout, every item, every object in the game has to be rendered. If you see a candy bar, a comic book, an umbrella, a gun on the ground, you can actually pick it up and manipulate it. You can put it on NPCs' heads or in baskets or store it somewhere or actually put it in your inventory and put it in storage later. So, um, you know, maybe Bethesda is focusing on the gameplay and the sheer size of the game rather than graphics. If that's the case, leave the graphics alone. As far as storyline is concerned, I'm really interested because the flashback scenes really look like they are happening in the days that lead up to the apocalypse, the nuclear happening that turns the Fallout world into the Fallout world. So um, you hear Ron Perlman's voice at the end, and he's a little bit more shaky than you've heard him in the past games. He's like, my soldiers are right, war never changes. It sounds as if in the flashback we're going to get to see Ron Perlman's actual character, maybe, um, in his days leading up to whatever happened. So that would be really interesting, this, this narrator, this, this uh, thousand yard stare voice narrator that we've been hearing we get to maybe see a younger version of him in the game um just the the fact that he did sound shaky and, and nervous and like he didn't like like he had just heard war never changes for the first time and he was just repeating it for the first time another thing is that this game is coming out for the ps4 the xbox one and the pc now having said that when the modding community gets a hold of Fallout 4, no matter if Bethesda has worked on the graphics from the announcement trailer to release date, it does not matter. The modding community is going to make it look great. Bethesda just has to make it feel like you're living in this world, but the modding community will make it look real. You know, with the um, Oculus Rift and the other VR headsets coming out, this could potentially be like a world that I end up feeling like I'm a part of. I'm not worried about the graphics at all. I'm really just excited that they are uh, paying tribute to Fallout 3. I mean, it's it looks like Fallout 3 and and you know, most most people want more and more and more, you know, oh, why are they coming out with a new game that looks so much like the old game? But with this, it really looks like they're going to dive into the uh, lore and the story of the days leading up to the apocalypse and maybe the days after Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you know, in a completely different area. Maybe it's the same area. But the cities all look fleshed out. They look really dense, like you can really get in there and get lost. When Bethesda does a cinematic scene, it doesn't look different from the gameplay. So that's what's so great about this, is that even if this is gameplay or cinematics, we're seeing what we're going to be seeing, if not something that's better in the long run. So, um... You know, there's no trickery. There's no fooling anybody. You're not watching some trailer where the people all look real and then it goes into gameplay and everybody's blocky. 
Um, you know, I, I don't really know what I'm saying there. Like, I mean, the fact that it's always blocky with Bethesda isn't a bad thing. It's you, you're you immersed in a world and you stay in that world. You're not taken out of it and then brought backwards. So you're just, the world that you're in is the world that you're in. And Bethesda does a really good job with that. And uh, I'm excited about it. Fallout 4 is going to be great. Um, it's going to be like my second life. Um, so I'm excited. Can't wait. <laughs>